Good morning. Today I have a very lazy day of painting everything white. Um, I've got to put a second coat on this coop here and the first coat on that coop. I've got to paint the grape arbor again, second coat. I've got to paint the barn. But this morning I cut my hair and I have cut my hair for probably the last 11 years or so. Um, once I figured out that I was telling the barber four on the sides, five on top, and she was just kind of buzzing it, I thought, I can do this. And when I met Ricky, I started cutting his hair, and it saves us quite a bit of money. And it did take some practice. Um, the very first time that I cut it, um, it ended up great. And then the next time I did it, I was a little too confident and hasty and made my hair look terrible. But... <laughs> Uh, ever since then, I've cut my own hair, and I've, I've, it takes me about 20 minutes. Uh, it takes about the same amount of time to cut Ricky's. Uh, so every couple weeks, I cut hair. And I think it looks okay. But, on to a lazy day of painting everything. Got the first coat on. It's definitely bright. Oh no, snow's invisible! Put the second coat on my ugly coop, and guess what? It's still ugly. It's 10 o'clock and I started at 8. And it's so hot already, and the sun is bearing down on everything. So everything's got two coats. This one's gonna need three coats, because the over there it dried super fast before the wood drank it up. But over here, it's just drinking it like it's thirsty. I just kind of wanted to come in here and show you guys how perfectly this worked out. So, right now I still need to repair some of the holes in this little divide here, but um, I made a gate. And how I made it was I just used my battery op operated sawzall to cut through the wood, and when I cut through this piece I applied a hinge. And then when I cut through that piece, I applied a hinge. And then I just decided how big I wanted the gate, and now I've got one. And uh, it's self-closing, apparently. But I'm going to apply a, a, a hardware, which is over there. Um, it's just a latch that I'm going to apply uh, so I can shut this gate and hopefully deter goats from coming in here. Now, I put that board up there when I was thinking about walling off this whole section. I may end up having to put fencing or something, but we'll see what the goats do. But I was just so happy my hutch fits perfectly wall to wall in here. Um, so this is a nice little comfortable area. Um, I've thought about, I thought about building my um, guilt, goat milking station over here, but just standing in here and it's the middle of the day. It's just hot. I'm just standing here doing nothing, sweating. So it's going to be in an airy location, I think. Um, but I want it movable so I can bring it in here if uh, it's winter time or something. There we go. That's installed. It took me like two seconds. But this is concerning me. Sometimes it comes back and it sticks, but I don't like how it hyperextends. So I'm going to have to put like a screw a board or something to kind of stop it right here. Um, so I'll go find a board for that. That's much better. Had to pre-drill drill those holes. I found this little bitty scrap left over from building that second chicken coop. So it also, since it kind of hangs open a bit, it gives me something to grab a hold of to open it. It's kind of sad really. 
Ricky was so excited to get bird feeders for our property, and these have been sitting here for like two or three weeks, and no one touches them. Um, I keep telling him, give it time, give it time, but all the birds, you can hear them, they're chirping in all the forest around us, but they won't come onto the homestead. So bugs, I mean, you could if you just stand still long enough, you'll just see them whizzing in the background. Just taking over everything. I'm so disappointed. Um, thankfully, one of my subscribers uh, told me this morning that the pest that I was dealing with was a, some kind of Japanese something beetle. And I came out here this evening after the day was almost done. And I discovered that they are really wreaking havoc on my cherry tree. Uh, those branches used to have leaves on them yesterday. Um, I clapped and killed some with my hands, um, which was a pretty new experience for me. I'm not usually a bug killer. Uh, but we discovered that they've moved on to some of the other trees. So I was over here clapping them. And, um, so we're going to go to Home Depot and get the traps that he suggested. Because this is making me so mad. I just planted these. You're not welcome here. We were unsuccessful at finding the traps at Home Depot and at Lowe's, and we went to Walmart and found this fly trap uh, that looks similar to the picture of the uh, Japanese beetle trap that Ricky found online. Um, so we're going to try that, and I got a spray bottle to mix up some of my diatomaceous earth with water and spray on them as well. I've got a 50 pound bag of diatomaceous earth that I haven't even opened yet, so we'll try everything. This is my 50 pound bag of diatomaceous earth. Um, I'm about to mix it after I get it out of the house and put it in this messy shit. I'm about to mix it into a bottle with water. Um, bought this at Walmart, but uh, it's 100% food grade, oh, fresh water diatomaceous earth. So um, I hear a lot of good things as far as pest control. While we were at Home Depot, I saw a DE that was in the pest control section, and it was a tiny little bag, but this was pretty fairly priced. I think we paid what, like 50 bucks? But they also sent this handy dandy shaker. Uh, I think there's more inside. I put like two ounces in um, because it just says take a tablespoon by, by mouth once a day or something and it doesn't because it's the food grade stuff and not the stuff that's specifically for pest control, I don't know how much, so I figured that's enough to get me started. Headed on over to the orchard, got it mixed up with some water, been kind of shaking it, but I'm just going to spray everything out here, maybe even the ground, because I need all of these little Japanese beetles to die. Just spray it all over. I've read a lot of things about DE. I've questioned um, a lot of different kinds of people, uh, farmers and whatnot, and some people swear by it, and some people say that it's just um, like an old wives' tale or whatever. Ricky and Snow saw a deer, so they ran down in the woods to investigate. But I went ahead and hung up my fly traps, sprayed everything down with DE. Um, I just hung them directly in the trees, so hopefully it helps. The end of another long day just watching the fireflies. They sparkle like the stars.